Smartwatches have become this very interesting category. Uh, it looked like it was expanding and growing and it looks like it's slowing down. But Samsung says no. They announced a brand new Galaxy Watch and this was at the Unpacked event. We saw it, we saw it with the Galaxy Note, Note 9 and I said, okay, look, how does this differ? So I finally got a chance to use the Galaxy Watch. I've been using it for roughly about two and a half weeks, maybe almost three by the time this video hits. And I have to say, I've had a really good experience with the Galaxy Watch because first and foremost, for me, it feels like a wristwatch. Now, remembering the very first um, Galaxy Gear Samsung announced and the ads they showed and how we could do everything. Now, we haven't gotten there yet, but the Galaxy Watch is, is more of a refinement of the things that the Galaxy Gear line could do, the Gear Fit, uh, the Gear S3 Frontier, into one very clean package. First of all, this thing is slick. It is a nice looking watch. I've got the 46 millimeter. It's of course a larger watch face. For me, I like that. A lot of people say it's too big. No, it's a watch. Uh, second, it comes with a 22, mil 22 millimeter strap, which is easily replaceable. And actually, um, as you can see here, this is an aftermarket strap. The brown strap uh, comes with uh, a rubberized sports strap, if you will. And it's easy to replace. I love that. Simple, um, nice little clips done and you've got whatever look or strap you have you want. Many watch faces you can cycle through and uh, that gives you something that fits your style. But what does Samsung claim with this watch and why is it different? A couple of things. Uh, first off, they talked about battery life. They talked about a brand new chipset here designed by Samsung for them or for this watch to give you four days battery life. Now I said, hmm, we know a lot of other smartwatches, two days, that's even a struggle. So I put it to the test. Um, I used it for four days when I went to Massachusetts on family vacation and also I uh, used it for another four days. I didn't plan the days, but that's what happened uh, when I went to PAX West uh, for um, you know PAX in Seattle. And it lasted four days without actually charging. Now, granted, the one thing you do have to do is turn off the always on display. If you keep it on, you're gonna get two days battery life. I've actually used it in both um, situations throughout these two and a half weeks or so and i have to tell you uh battery life is impressive the fact that yes you can charge the galaxy watch via uh, wireless charging which is great no dock needed so you can place it on say your dual charger that you have for your galaxy note 9 and uh your galaxy watch and charge it there or any other wireless charging uh pad that you have and it will do the job for you fantastically um but the battery life lasts really long so the, the idea that you can you know, travel, go for a run, do your exercises, and still have enough juice for you to actually you know, order an Uber, uh, pay with Samsung Pay, which is built in. Granted, it doesn't actually have the ability to uh, use payments on all credit card machines. It, it does use NFC, but that's also in the watch. So those are the kind of things I generally like with this, and I was quite impressed. The other thing also is the new feature of uh, um, reading your stress levels, which is quite interesting. Um, I will say that I found it to be quite accurate. I, I, I took it upon myself to remind myself that, hey, when I'm feeling stressed or I'm going through something else stressful, I should check the stress readings. And I saw that it actually moved according to what that situation was. Now, what Samsung talked about is that it will constantly be looking at your stress levels and will inform you when they get past a certain point so that uh, you can breathe. So kind of the same reminders when you're sitting down for a while and you have an exercise in your smartwatch, you know, the watch tells you, hey, get up, walk around, twist. It does this thing telling me to twist left and right and all that kind of stuff. Same thing will tell you to breathe and relax and try and take it easy. That's really helpful because we live in a very stressful world and environment where uh, you're very busy, you're doing certain things, and sometimes you just kind of lose some control. So this is a good way to help with that. I found it to be very uh, good. The, of course, the um, heart, rate, heart rate monitor also has been spot on while you're doing my exercises. Now I do different kinds of exercises. So someone like uh, my buddy Jaime, who was very adamant about you know track uh, measurements, which he says doesn't do that that well, and he's correct, uh, that's something they definitely need to improve. But I do a lot of kickboxing, Muay Thai, 
Uh, I do a lot of martial arts. I do also a lot of, um, you know, um, just fitness training. And uh, this actually, the dynamic workout pickup is really nice. And I can also set, set my specific workout routine. So I can do stuff like just arm curls. I can measure how I'm actually exercising with that. Or if I'm doing leg day that day at the gym. Those are the kind of things that I like. Other smartwatches haven't seen those, you know, um, you, this particular uh, minutia is there. But for me, this has been pretty cool. I think overall though, this has been a solid experience. I haven't won smartwatches uh, as much as I would like because they've been disappointing to me. The battery life has been terrible, uh, but I really like this, the fact that I can go days. I'm taking another trip again. I'll be away for about, you know, uh, seven days. So I do have to charge it at some point. But I do like the fact that um, this is something that will do the job for me. Now, a couple of things I want them to fix, uh, which uh, I do like, but I want to see some refinements and notifications. You turn the dial left from center to your notifications. If your notifications build up a lot, it's a lot of dial turning. So there's gotta be a way to group them or do a much better job with that. Um, I do like the dial, though. the dial on top of this thing is great. This is one of the best things Samsung has done. Nobody has that. Uh, all the competitors have crown movements and things like that, but this works so well for just navigating the smartwatch. It's a really cool feature. Uh, but overall, I like it. Build quality is really solid. Uh, some people ask, what about the buttons? Very simple. The top button is your Samsung Pay if you press down and hold. Uh, it's also your back button and the bottom button is your home and your power off button. Overall, it is the best smartwatch on the, uh, from any Android manufacturer. Even though it's not running Android, it's running Tizen OS. So that tells you a lot about what Samsung has done with the Galaxy Watch. Uh, pricing is on screen. I've forgotten it right here, but if you're looking to pick it up, use our link down below. This is definitely worth picking up. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video, guys. Leave your comments as well. Subscribe to the channel. And once you do hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.